Whether you travel to Poland for business or for pleasure, there are many fabulous sights to see in this beautiful and dynamically growing country. In this video, we will cover some popular tourist destinations. While there are certainly many more than we can include in this video, here are some suggestions to get you started. There are several historically and economically important cities in Poland, such as Gdańsk in the north or Łódź in the heartland, but you will most likely spend a significant amount of time in either Warsaw or Kraków, so let's turn our attention to some major points of interest in the two largest cities of Poland. Although a bit of friendly rivalry exists between the two cities, both Warsaw and Kraków represent different yet important aspects of Polish history and culture. While Kraków is a beacon of centuries of Polish culture and history, it remains so because it was left mostly untouched by World War II. Warsaw, on the other hand, is a testament to the resilience, strength, and patriotism of the Polish character. After World War II, the city was painstakingly rebuilt in its previous image, after having been nearly razed to the ground by the Nazis in retribution for the Warsaw Uprising in 1944. The two cities do share something in common, though. Both were capital cities. Kraków from 1038 until 1596 when it was moved to Warsaw. As the capital, Warsaw, or in Polish, Warszawa, is the largest city in Poland with a population of 1.7 million people. This makes it the ninth largest city in the European Union. There is plenty to see and do in this economic and political hub of Poland. From the reconstructed Old Town, featuring the Royal Castle and the Sigismund Corinthian Column, you can walk seven miles south along the winding Royal Route to end at the second home to various Polish kings, the Wilanów Palace, known as the Polish Versailles. Between Wilanów and the Old Town, you will spot many historic sites and attractions, including the Presidential Palace, Warsaw University, and the Polish Academy of Sciences. Be sure to schedule enough time to walk around the sprawling Łazienki Park, featuring more palaces, neoclassical amphitheaters and temples, a Chinese garden, an impressive monument to the pianist Chopin, and the famous roaming peacocks. You might even catch an open-air concert of Chopin's music under his monument. Mixed in with these historic landmarks are many buildings from the communist period, creating an interesting contrast in the city's architecture. One communist-era building you are sure not to miss is the Palace of Culture and Science. Built in 1955, it is the tallest building in Poland, and thus an inescapable part of the Warsaw urban landscape. There are plenty of museums to visit while in Warsaw, including the National Museum, the Royal Castle Museum, the Warsaw Uprising Museum, and the Poling Museum of the History of Polish Jews. Opened in 2013, the Poling Museum sits on the former site of the Warsaw Ghetto, where close to 400,000 Jews perished, either within the ghetto itself or by deportation to Nazi concentration camps. Before the war, Poland's Jewish population was over 3 million. After the Holocaust, it was reduced to under 300,000. At the Poling Museum, the vibrant history of Polish Jews is on display, and you will see multimedia exhibitions dedicated to the thousand-year history of Polish Jews and Jewish culture, beginning in the Middle Ages up to the present day. With a population somewhere around 760,000, Kraków is the second largest city in Poland. An historic and magnificent city, it is home to the Jagiellonian University, the oldest university in Poland and the second oldest university in Central Europe. It boasts many famous alumni, including Copernicus, Pope St. John Paul II, and many Nobel laureates. The largest medieval market square of its kind in Europe, the Old Town Square is lined with restaurants and outdoor seating where you can enjoy a meal and take in the sights. You can even take an underground tour below the market square to experience Kraków's rich history dating back to the Middle Ages. 
Here you will see recent archaeological discoveries and experience interactive multimedia exhibitions. On the corner of the Old Town Square, you will see St. Mary's Basilica, with its famous 15th century triptych altar by Witzwosch. On the hour, a trumpeter blares the five-note Hey Now Call from the four windows of the church tower. The history of this call dates back to the Mongol invasions of Poland in the 13th century. And, according to legend, the call ends abruptly because the trumpeter was struck by an arrow. At the center of the square, you can find the striking Sukienice Cloth Hall, in which you can find any manner of souvenirs, including amber jewelry, beer steins, folk art, and much more. From the Old Town, you can travel by foot down Kraków's own royal route to the Wawel Cathedral and Castle that sit beautifully atop the Wisła River, the longest and largest river in Poland. Don't miss out on a trip to Kazimierz, the historic Jewish district of Kraków. In Kazimierz, you can visit the old synagogue, which is home to the Jewish Museum in Kraków. Other major sites include the old Jewish cemetery and the Galicia Jewish Museum. While in Kazimierz, you can also feast on traditional Jewish fare while enjoying live klezmer music at one of the district's many Jewish restaurants. In more recent times, the Kazimierz district has become a cool evening hangout with live music, hip bars, and art galleries. You will also find Kraków's Bez Zapiekanki in Kazimierz, a street food item similar to a baguette pizza. Just across the river from Kazimierz, you will see the memorial to the Jews who perished in the Kraków Jewish ghetto. And just down the way is Oskar Schindler's factory, which has been converted into an interactive museum whose permanent exhibit chronicles Kraków under Nazi occupation. The building is also home to the Museum of Contemporary Art in Kraków. If you run out of things to do in Kraków, you can hop a bus and visit nearby attractions and historical sites, such as the Wieliczka Salt Mine or Nova Huta, Poland's first socialist city. Built in 1949, the city and adjacent steelworks were an experiment in socialist utopianism. This industrial district has a controversial history and is one of the best examples of Polish socialist realist architecture. Within a two-hour drive from Kraków, you can find many other interesting destinations, including the Auschwitz-Birkenau Memorial and Museum, the Nazi concentration and extermination camp where over one million people perished, including 960,000 Jews from all over Europe, the city of Częstochowa, and the monastery of Jasna Góra, which is the home to the miraculous Black Madonna painting. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people make pilgrimages to the shrine to the Blessed Virgin Mary, who is considered the patron and queen of Poland. If you want a unique experience that draws the interests of Poles and foreigners alike, Take a trip to Zakopane in the foothills of the Tatra Mountains to experience the unique Polish Highlander culture firsthand. You can also enjoy a hike through the mountains to Morskie Oko Lake or ride the cable car to Gubawówka Hill to get a beautiful view of the Tatra Mountains. Wherever your travels take you in Poland, we know you will enjoy the experience. Be sure to check out our other video with travel tips that will help you with getting around and making the most of your time while in Poland.